All right, our Greens family, uh, this is Bomani Taimba, and welcome to our Africa for the Africans conference call for uh, July 16th, 2023, for the uh, journey of a lifetime on all of our upcoming uh, schedules that uh, we have uh, showcased on our website at africaforafricans.org. And uh, family, uh, we're celebrating 17 years. This is from October 2006 to 2023. As far as Africa for the Africans and the uh, journey for lifetimes that we have uh, done, uh, which is over 30 to uh, over eight different uh, African countries, uh, plus uh, Brazil. Uh, so that is uh, the energy that we have. And I uh, just got back from Ghana, and this is the uh, Ghana t-shirt that we had. Uh, green, um, green, red, black, and green. So. And so these are the colors that we have. And, um, I usually just do a group picture of um, all of the tours that we have. Most of them are with the t-shirts and some are not. Uh, so that's what we have uh, on the website just to show everyone how the groups look, um, how we're moving, and just uh, the flow of how we do things. So what I want to start with is I want to start by going to our website at africaforafricans.org and just uh, go through the information just for the recording, just uh, for people who um, are not familiar with certain things. And some people have looked at information, but I just wanna always just uh, talk about it and uh, go over it just for specific uh, documentation that everyone know that we made ourselves available, went through the information. And then for those who didn't make the call and wanna talk or wanna connect via video call or meet or talk, you can just always call me and we can connect. Um, I try to just use different modes of just sharing information, connecting, and building energy to get us prepared for these uh, different uh, journeys. And one of the main things is all of the journeys that we have uh, taken um, on the Africa for the Africans, it's all there on our YouTube page as far as the videos and then the photos on Facebook. And then you have scattered uh, videos, or I should say there's different uh, view of different countries that we have travel to uh, on our Instagram. So that's our documentation and the full flow of our information on our website is once you click on a link for the relative tour, it opens up and give you a list of different articles. And those are the things that we ask everyone to just take their time and go through. And then for those who ask for um, information in writing or we just usually send them writing in general, uh, then that's information as far as the uh, newsletter and the newsletter just give you a flow of the itinerary the overview. But uh, for a specific country like Tanzania, it will list also the links for all of the uh, previous uh, uh, video as far as just the uh, playlist. And so you can see, and this, it's just one of the best ways to showcase uh, what we do on these journeys, how, how everything look, how we move and give you full clarity. And you can just, and then you have people give feedbacks and you know, we have lists of those videos also. So it's just a way just to just get you clear on what journey you're getting into. And then uh, the goal is to just do uh, private calls, especially for the tours coming up, which is uh, Tanzania in November and uh, South Africa in December. Uh, that way we can just talk about some of the, the certain things that we need to talk about and just get ourselves prepared. So looking to do these calls and different calls, uh, public, private, uh, for the specific group and for the groups in general, and just making myself available. So at any point or any moment, anyone want to talk and you're not clear on certain things, just please uh, reach out to me. And the same thing also when we're traveling. And know that uh, while we're traveling, uh, everything is based on the specific itinerary. And as we get closer, if we need to make a few adjustments to the itinerary, we'll keep you updated. Uh, everything is always for uh, efficiency. All right, so here we are on our website, africaforafricans.org. So once uh, you get to the website, uh, you'll see the MP3 player, you can pause it, and then you'll see this different random photos of just us in Africa, from beaches to paradise, the business conference, the networking to us just having a good time, historical sites, and just showcasing just our full experience. And as we scroll down, my goal is uh, to just make the information accessible as uh, best as possible. So whether you're using your mobile device or you're using a desktop or a laptop, uh, the information will come up uh, similar to where you just have access to this, the specific tours that you're traveling on. But the most important thing as far as the website is just to give you the schedules 
and give you the information that you need to just be clear on before you make any commitments. And also just so you can just be prepared and ready for the journey. Uh, same thing. Um, so this is an overview of just all the different countries that we're traveling to and the different uh, schedules. Um, and as time go along, we'll adjust and update the schedule. But as of now, I just want to clear out and complete our next uh, two journeys that we have, uh, which is our Tanzania Roots and Culture Tour for November 16th to the 27th. 2023. Uh, so as far as that, that journey, uh, right now we are 10 strong and looking to just get a few more people that are just trying to get themselves organized to join us uh, so we can just get uh, things uh, finalized. Uh, so that is uh, set um, to come closer. That is the next four months. So we're just going to be finalizing on uh, the same as South Africa and tickets um, uh, next month. Uh, that way we can just get things in order and uh, just update everyone on the pace that we need to take to just make sure everything is uh, taken care of ahead of time. So that is uh, the schedule for Tanzania, and uh, we'll be there. This will be our literally our fourth journey. We started in November 2020, and we'll build the energy for the last uh, now three Novembers, November 2021 and 2022. Uh, so that's a nice uh, journey. It's um, you know the weather is great. Uh, you're going from Arusha. Uh, Zanzibar Island and uh, Dar es Salaam. So just give you a good uh, diverse feel of the uh, country and you're flying into Kilimanjaro Airport and then you're returning out of Dar es Salaam Airport. So, um, you know, from ferry boat rides to domestic uh, flights, uh, we have just a nice logistic uh, movements. And as you just do these journeys, you just get better and you just find ways to just make it more accommodative uh, to uh, everyone. Our South Africa uh, roots and culture journey, December 24th to January 4th. Uh, this is my second time doing the uh, South Africa uh, Journey of a Lifetime. Uh, I've been to South Africa twice before. The last one that we did was in, which was in November 2019. Uh, so that's a journey that we're just looking to just get back to. Uh, it's been a hold up uh, in South Africa the last few years from the COVID-19 to this uh, civil unrest. So looking to just uh, make it a part of our permanent rotation so we can just enjoy different parts of Africa as we go from North, East, South, and West Africa. Uh, and then uh, from uh, South Africa, we're going to be uh, heading to uh, Liberia. So Liberia is a featured journey on our uh, itinerary, and we're putting a lot of work and energy into this, getting things in place. It's our first time uh, doing this journey to Liberia, but we've been putting a lot of marketing in it and also uh, working with a lot of different people that's, uh, that's here in America and also in Liberia just to create the perfect uh, program and also add uh, things at Business and Investment Conference as the focus is just to uh, do... Uh, business and investment in West Africa, solely in uh, Ghana and Nigeria. Uh, so you'll see the uh, business conference and the goal is just to always just work on it in this, put it, in, uh, put it uh, or organize it in a way where those who are looking to live, do business, connect, network, and make certain moves in a country and then not go through certain hassles. We just, we can provide a program to just get you connected. Uh, so that's the success of what we're building in Ghana and we just expand into uh, Liberia. Uh, so looking forward to this, for those who have traveled to all these other countries with us, looking forward to you joining us on this uh, Liberia journey. Uh, then as um, we continue on to uh, 2024, uh, summer journey is Ghana Repatriation Investment Tour, July 11th to the 23rd. So uh, this, I've organized a summer journey for the bulk of people who want to travel with us uh, to Ghana in July. So that will be the 24th journey. And uh, we'll just keep on just working on it. And then the showcase or highlight of that journey is our Black Star Pan-African community, which we just keep on just making from small progress to large progress, to, but just keep on moving forward and then getting it done. So over a period of time, when we just take more and more groups there, you'll see there's more people living, building, and you'll see more energy from this, us in the town, this you know, creating energy where those of us are looking to live and do business in uh, Ghana, uh, they can choose uh, this town uh, where we can just build an energy, a nice African diaspora energy or pan-African energy uh, for those who just want to make an easy way to live, do business, and just uh, move to uh, you know, move to Ghana. And you know, similar energy is what we're looking to build in Liberia. And as uh, we uh, continue on to the fall, uh, we have our Egypt uh, roots and culture journey for November 21st to December 2nd, 2024. And uh, first and last time I was in Egypt was. Uh, in March of uh, 
excuse me, April of 2004. Uh, so that's uh, 20 years uh, later. Um, and um, looking to work with my good sister, Mitrell, on a mission. And she is uh, there. She traveled us to Ghana in December 2019. And she just loved the Africa journey energy. And she made a move to Egypt. And you know, she's an expert on the ground. I've uh, been doing these same tours. So we put together a nice uh, tour package schedule. So just building a group. And it's another um, group that uh, we have a good amount of energy. And I'm looking to uh, this, uh, do another South Africa journey for December of 2024, for those who don't make it. And uh, just looking to either work at Senegal or Gambia or uh, uh, Liberia, based on how Liberia work for April 2025. So that's the uh, full schedule that we have organized and laid out a nice, incredible itineraries to where you can just get the best of your investment, the best of your getaway, the best of your journey, your reconnection. And as I scroll down past the uh, website, uh, these are just updates and things that we have on here uh, for any, anyone to just be, if you just need to see any updates. And then the next conference call details I'll put right here and also on the conference call links. And then we'll send out uh, uh, via email and also send it out on the uh, group WhatsApp page so everyone could be uh, completely clear and just you know, be prepared and be ready. And uh, these are just all of our links. Um, you, if you just want to see more video and photo documentation from previous journeys, uh, that's what I've just kept all the energy going on these social pages. Uh, so you can just get a feel and just get connected. And these are all of our Facebook group page. And anyone that's ever interested in about uh, Black Star Pan-African community, uh, we have the uh, link on the website and also the Facebook group page. And then uh, all of the videos of everything that we have done the last um, almost four years on the land from starting it, setting it up, conference call, uh, legal presentation, uh, and all aspects of this shared information from this updates on this what's going on in the town, in the community, and people building their house. So that's uh, what we do. We just specialize in just documenting all of the information. That way, everyone can just you know, be clear about what we're doing. So this is the... Um, now, still the main page, and this is the wall of all of our previous uh, journeys. And that is our last journey right there by the uh, Black Star Pan-African Square right there in uh, Ghana, or Black Star Independence Square. And then the previous journey before that, uh, the uh, Senegal journey, it is uh, this right there at uh, Gori Island. So that's the second time we did a group photo right there at Gory Island. And as you scroll down, you just see more and more of our documentation. Uh, this is uh, on the left is uh, the Africa tour book. So that could be accessed from the main menu. And it's just give you a nice program guide of just what we do as far as the tours. And as soon as I get on the bigger screen, I'll, I'll show you one of these uh, books. But uh, literally, our, these are the digital versions. So you click on it, and it will just open up like a digital book. And then you can download the file also. I'm going to put the last two uh, tours that we did, put those books up. And it's just more and more documentation to uh, share. And that is our uh, other journey to Ghana. So everyone I've seen us do Ghana, mainly in May and December, and then in the previous years, earlier in October. But I always tell everyone that you know the schedule just flows and it's not guaranteed that we just you know, be back in Ghana again in December. So uh, we did, you know, we're looking to this head to our South Africa, but that was our last uh, December journey to Ghana. And you know, based on how things work, you know, we just alternate, alternate, uh, or alter, uh, alternate uh, things or just um, change it up as best as possible. That way, you know, if you look into this travel, the schedule is available. You can just process it, take a look at it. And if you feel it, you can just connect with us. And this is just to show you that this is what we do. We just, we get uh, groups of people from the African diaspora. And we just put together these tour programs and we just enjoy a journey of a lifetime. And as, as I scroll down past all of the uh, different uh, tour uh, groups, I'm always telling everyone that the program is set, it's organized, all the things that need to be in place is there. So it's up to you to just enjoy it, um, be prepared, ready, organized, and just make the best of it. Um, and, you know, you have things sometimes, maybe long drives, long flights, you know, which I call a downfall or, you know, the lows. 
and uh, you know you have great dining, great entertainment, great just uh, you know, tour guiding and you know the highlights or the highs. Uh, so you just uh, roll with the flow, and you know in general you are moving and flying, driving, doing all kind of different things. So it, it does a you know wear your body out. And then other thing, uh, mainly I always tell everyone is just to just have your health situation in order as far as just making sure that uh, the preparation list that we have, we bring all the necessary things, uh, especially things dealing with anti-diarrhea as you leave from one uh, continent to the next and the water, certain situations are different. So those are some of the things that we highlight uh, and get you prepared for. So, you know, you're ready to go and enjoy your journey and you can just have less downtime um, based on this, you know, you're moving around. The only thing I would just say is that some of the um, the flights may be long because we're flying from you know we're flying from the U.S. to East Africa. That's very far. Uh, so you just uh, get yourself stretched, worked out, and prepared as best as possible. So more and more our uh, journeys, and uh, this is just all of our exciting group uh, members. And as um, we go all the way down to 2016, all of the years before that is uh, multiple years and. Uh, from there on, 2016 and below is just one or two journeys a year. So I always tell everyone that uh, when we have the, the shirts on and we're ready to just do the group, do the group pitches, just you know, be prepared to take a nice photo so we can just have some nice photos to uh, share. And then uh, you know, we can take, take it with multiple cameras and we can share it on Facebook, WhatsApp, Instagram, and so on, or on a Google um, um, media link to where we can just put all of our photos. So. These are how we just, uh, we live the memories. And I try to just use different uh, historical tour sites as best as possible. The popular ones are Kwame Nkrumah Memorial uh, Park, uh, which you see with a big statue and the uh, shrine in the back. And some journeys you see us uh, with groups as small as 10, some as large as uh, 30, 40, but it's just based on the flow and then as time go along over the years, uh, you know, sometimes you're not able to just uh, get big journeys. And Ethiopia, this is the only journey that we ever did. And so it's one of those countries, you know, maybe in the future again. So we try to revisit certain energy. And as we just go through from 2016, it's just October journeys all the way down. So one thing we've been able to do is build a flexibility, but uh, the foundation of what we build in Ghana just makes it easier to just do many other countries that we travel to. And these are the foundation journeys. So that's what we do, family. And this is our Liberia link for our feature journey. And below is just all of the links to all of the pages uh, that um, you know, we have focus on. So quick, easy access to all of the information. And the next thing I wanna showcase is <clears throat> Uh, the YouTube page. So once you get to the YouTube page, uh, you can scroll down and you can also just click on videos to see all the latest videos and you can click on live to see the live shows that we do. And then our uh, playlist to see this the array of playlists for all the different tours that we have traveled to where you can just click on a playlist and you can see the entire sequence of all of the uh, tour you know, program and just us moving around from, you know, from the beginning of the journey to the end. So these last set of uh, videos are videos from our Black Star Pan-African Community Land Site Tour, which when we do the Ghana tour, we just have a full day. We just go visit the land. As far as the 15 acres, our business office or house, um, and the 60 acres, the business district, and also uh, the beach area. And then we just do a tour around Winneba, and then we just make our move. But this is highlights from Jahadzi. And what I was talking about was the multiple playlists. So once you uh, go down, you see playlists. And these are from the last set of journeys that uh, we've done, Ghana, May, and June. And as time go along, I'll keep on uploading more uh, videos to this uh, link. But as far as the uh, library, this is a preparation. This, this is this conference call of videos that we're just talking, explaining, and go through what we're talking about as far as library to just build energy. So it's a lot of videos, some very long, some very short, some are interviews with librarians. Here in America, some interviews with librarians during uh, Liberia. So that's the energy that we're building. In the Senegal and the Gambia journey, that's uh, 87 videos right here. And that's the best of what we did in that journey. Another great, spectacular journey. 
and uh, you can just watch the videos and see this the flow of the energy of what's uh, going on. Uh, so another uh, journey, and these are not the easiest thing to pull off. In Senegal and Gambia, you're driving from one country to the next, uh, going from an incredible organized city to this, going to the rural areas, and then having to cross over in a ferry boat to the Gambia and uh, make your way back. So uh, that's always uh, one of those things, but that's always thankful that we pull it off. And we're able to uh, deliver uh, what we show, what we have on the itinerary and what we have in our programs. Uh, and the good thing about Senegal and Gambia is give you a chance to go out to nice restaurants. So that's one of the good things. Uh, you know, we do we love to have this uh, hotels where we can just have more dinner at the hotels to cut back some downtime. But uh, when we do have a chance to just go out to eat dinner, that's uh, always great. You just get your menu and you just order what you want and you just uh, enjoy dinner, which is uh, included in all of the uh, tours and all of the uh, tour days. Uh, the, previous Ghana, the previous Ghana journey, 153 videos. So some have more videos than others. Uh, Tanzania is right there, 83 videos. And then um, one of my historical journeys, Ghana, May and June, 2022, where we just, just recording a lot of videos. So it's just a whole lot of highlights of just showing you everything that we have done across uh, all the different countries. And you scroll down some more, you see some more of the previous journeys, uh, 2020, 2021. And then you go down, this is uh, the video link for Black Star Pan-African Community. So these playlists are huge playlists with just videos after videos, because as you travel and uh, do these journeys year after year, you know, you're just showing updates and information. So anyone that's ever want to see the progress, you can just go back from the beginning, even go back to when this place was like a jungle. Then we cleared it, we set it up. And all of that is just a lot of intricate uh, business that you have to deal with and things that just draw a ridiculous amount of stress on you. But it's just honestly what you have to do to just build something. Uh, other than that, uh, us going to Africa and roots and coaching us and joining the different countries would just be you know, a nice journey and be in vain while everyone else is thinking about just doing high level of business. So this is one way to start as far as doing black corporate economics and just trying to get your best people to work together. So. So far, so good. Uh, we can always progress a lot further, but more and more people would have to be willing to move and build, which not everyone is always ready to do those things. So the people who are ready have started, and that's what those video highlights are about. And as time goes along, just looking to show a whole lot more. And these are some of the older multiple playlists as I started building the playlist around uh, 2017. Um, and then these are some of the, the old, older uh, videos that we have. This is the South Africa journey uh, from November 2019, then the Brazil journey, November 2017, and Ethiopia, uh, May 2017. So these are journeys that we have just done once as far as this our tour schedule. And then have some classical uh, slideshows, which just shows you lots of, lots of pictures and videos with music of just some of the um, previous uh, tour groups or just uh, different countries that uh, we've traveled to. And then this is my um, original Egypt documentary that I just uh, basically just loaded up on uh, YouTube uh, maybe about uh, two years ago. Uh, so that's the oldest video that I have. I have some that's after that between 2005 and 2006. But a lot of times there's just no need to upload those videos. The best thing for me always to do is just go and shoot fresh new videos and do them in the, in the way of where we shoot clips and highlights and just create a nice little flow of just showcasing more versus just the documentary style that this is. But this also is a long six hour um, docu um, documentary. And only bad thing about it is the technology at that point, that was 20, almost 20 years ago. So it wasn't this incredible 4K uh, high tech videos that you have where you just play it on your TV and you just feel like you're there in the country. But that's our journey and uh, that's our goal to do when we get there the next time. Uh, to Egypt, which will be very soon. So the Africa tours, uh, all of the ones that we've done in the, in the past, uh, along with um, investment co conference and interviews, they're all uh, showcased uh, right here on this link. Uh, so it's just our consistent work. And then these are some of the other people that I network with, that we talk with, we just, and the whole platform of, as far as what we do is this to literally educate and give people proper information as far as living, traveling, doing business in Africa, and just uh, being clear about certain things because uh, a lot of things is not what uh, it seems. And you know, you're going to countries where people are very nice to you and everything, 
and that could just always just throw off your judgment. Uh, so we just get real into this real conversations. Uh, and, you know, definitely on the live videos, uh, we also do those things. So as you scroll down and scroll down, you see this more multiple playlists and different uh, video highlights. And these are just from the work uh, and my documentation uh, from all the way from 2004 and this mainly from 2006 to now. And the next thing I want to show is uh, the Facebook page. So once you're on the Facebook page, um, I've organized the photos. Uh, just click on photos and then you click on albums. And then while you're on albums, uh, you're just going to see. And as time goes along, my goal is just to keep on uploading more of the last few albums that we have had. Sometimes we just have lots of pictures, but you'll see highlights from the Ghana journey and the Senegal and the Gambia journey that we just did this year. And then you scroll down, you'll see this every single country, every single tour that we've done. And this is just us showing that this is what we do. This is what we're about. This is how everybody look. This is our energy. This is what, um, you know, you can just be prepared for. So lots of galleries and some of these galleries, as you can see, 200 and more uh, photos. All right, so all that except for the inception. And this is just the uh, newsletter that's sent out and uh, it's uh, same thing to lots of uh, photo highlights, but it get right into this, the tour program and details for the conference call. And then it goes into certain topics that we just usually just go through in general. Uh, so that's, the importance of the newsletter. So that's usually sent, updated, and also provide a link. Uh, so you get, when you click on it, you just see the latest uh, conference recording. And it's just uh, information that's uh, let everyone know all the tours that we're doing, uh, looking to uh, collect deposits and looking to just get people committed earlier than later because uh, it's tricky, especially when you do these uh, tours in the holiday season. Uh, you just really need to just lock in on deposits so you can do your group booking several to 10 months uh, earlier but you know you just you manage um based on people interests and you, you know we're thankful for people interests uh uh you know whether you know whether earlier or later uh you know we just find ways to make it work but the only thing i would just advise people on when you commit late you just have to be open to the adjustments of the increase in the ticket and things like that other than that uh we can make all these things work And again, these are just the links uh, that take you directly to the tour package, tour details. And then you can just check out the uh, tour information. And since we're going to uh, Tanzania, let's click on the uh, Tanzania journey for November 16th to the 27th. And this one I'm talking about, once you click on the link, uh, you're right there where you'll see the general terms, the overview, the itinerary, Visa information, if your visa is required or not. If you're traveling to South Africa, there's no visa uh, required unless you're staying there over 90 uh, days. But all other countries that we have, in, except for uh, Senegal, uh, you need a visa. Uh, so when you click on the link or if you just reach out to me and I'll send you the visa email, all you have to do is click on the link and take your time and follow the details. And if you get stuck, you run into issues, uh, you're frustrated, no problem. I've helped at least several hundred different people do visas over the period of time from the beginning to now. And it's, you just work it out, whether we're here physically, remotely, or whether I'm talking to you on the phone or whether I'm emailing you information, you just follow the flow of what I'm telling you. And I got you. And as I mentioned, you get stuck. I just have different ways whether I need you to send me your information or for me to edit your photo or edit certain things for you or just uh, walk side by side with you, whatever the situation is, the most important thing I want everyone to understand, when we have, we're doing visas, please just try to communicate with me two to three months before we do our visa, before we travel so you can get your visa done ahead of time. And um, you know we're limited on some countries if you decide to do visa at the last minute. Uh, Tanzania, you can get away with doing visa at the last minute. You can even get away with not doing your visa. It's what it is. Uh, because they have visa on arrival. Uh, so that's one country that it works. Um, the Gambia, uh, same thing, I've been able to work that out where someone come on the last three days and they need a visa 
And you know, obviously we can't mail anything to the embassy at that point. Uh, once we get into like the two week time frame, it's just like chancing it to where you just, you know, you're rolling the dice to where your passport may get stuck at the embassy or the post office, things that you just don't want to happen. But you know, what do you do? You know, at that point, you know, we make a decision whether we need to do this overnight mail and things like that. So all of those sequence that you can imagine, think of, uh, we work out the passport, get lost, and you have to get an emergency passport and things like that. You know, work those things out. So I'm always just letting everyone know, just communicate with me and I got you. There's no issue or situation that um, we haven't been presented with. You have issues uh, the last few days and you can't make a journey. Um, it happens, that's uh, unfortunate of life, get well. Let me work out something for you, get you back on something to where you can just enjoy your investment, enjoy your money, enjoy uh, what you are uh, you know, committed to and make it work. So uh, the general terms give examples of cancellations and refunds and things like that and give uh, just the best sequence that we could work out. But then beyond that, it's something if we talk directly, I just do the best I can work out for you because that's our commitment. So that's why I want everyone to just read and be clear on everything. And then also always recommend everyone get travel insurance and things because it covers certain things that, you know, we just we're limited on doing, uh, especially when it comes to medical and things like that. Uh, we can always get the airlines to rebook your ticket and we can always give you a credit for your tour package and we can always do those things. Uh, so I just want everybody to suppress those things. And for those who just want to learn some of the language, um, based on some of the itineraries that we have in a translation, this one is from English to Key Swahili. So if we're there in this, mainly anywhere in East Africa, this would be one of the translations that we'll have up. And then that's also put in the tour book and we'll give a digital and a printed version. And the departure of minor list is one of the key uh, things. And I don't want to click too much into all of these links because once you click into them, there's a lot of information, but definitely recommend everyone just physically just read the full detail of all of them, especially before you commit and just be clear because that's exactly what we're rolling with. We're, we're going with things based on our presentation on our website and details are sent uh, via email and you know, written information. Uh, so that way, you know, we're all clear and we can just have uh, a great journey and we just cover all the necessaries and things like that. So uh, at this moment, all of the journeys that we have, we have more than enough people to make the journeys. Uh, we'd love to have more people, but uh, the um, Tanzania journey, the South Africa journey and the uh, Liberia journey is all clear as far as the minimum people, which is usually uh, 10, that we need to make these uh, journeys work. So that's a good start and good energy. And so for those who have friends, family, and other people that want to journey with us and they're interested in those countries, just want to get things going. And then the countries after that definitely need to get commitments earlier so we can lock in on reservations and have a good game plan. So that is uh, the uh, tour flow of the schedule. And then when you scroll down to the main menu, you have other this updated details um, or relevant details as far as like payment options, which if you want a payment option, I can also send that to you via, e via email. You don't have to directly uh, register on the website. That is a link that we have where this asks for a lot of information. And at this moment, we don't need all that information. We just need to send you an email. We reply back with your passport uh, details so we can book your ticket, uh, what kind of food you eat, and then this any other information that we need, may need, which is, it, it will ask you, what airport do you need a flight from? And honestly, we'll just do our best to get you a flight from that airport. And then if there's certain things, we'll explain certain things as far as, example, if the connection flight just went up by $700 or just anything strange, uh, the situation is our goal is just to communicate with you directly. Uh, and as far as uh, about us, that's just my information, my bio about our business and just our vision and mission uh, to just share. Uh, contact us via email and contact us via WhatsApp. So let's have those quick little links where someone can send an uh, email or send a WhatsApp message and just go to my phone. And then, you know, we're, clear, you know, we just communicate back with you. Repatriation and investments, uh, those things are just there to explain this, the vision of what we're dealing with as far as just our business. Repatriation, because our goal is just to connect you to Africa, whether it's uh, to just connect on a journey to visit, uh, get the feel of the African continent or just um, looking to live and do business and, and just you know, get our people more open to this, the future world of Africa. Um, and uh, investments is just the next aspect of things where whether we're in Ghana or Liberia, we have a business and investment conference and we're 
working with the people that we have to push a level of this, us doing investments from America to Africa and then keeping it flowing. And as you scroll down now, you see a link, uh, collecting school supplies. So all of the journeys that we have, our goal is this, at least one school will go to and uh, share some school supplies and some financial donations. So it's uh, that's, when you click on that link, it gives you a list of things. So just bring anything from the kindness of your heart. And if you just want to just give some financial donations, that's good. And if you just want to just enjoy the uh, presentation, you can just enjoy it. Uh, it's uh, nothing mandatory on anyone. And then I have you know, Marcus Garvey, our vision. So that is uh, the list of things that, um, that's there on the uh, website to just connect you with what we do so you can just be prepared and ready. And then we look here on the um, main menu to the left, the newsletter, uh, the same newsletter I was uh, going through. That's a link to give you all of the, this, the newsletter in general. So when you click on it, you'll see all the newsletters that we, you know, we send out via email. And if anyone that's uh, not on the uh, email list and just want to join it, once you click on that link, uh, you can join the email list. And as I talk about for the uh, tour book, all of the uh, sample tour books that you can just view. And then our Black Star Pan-African community, there's a whole long list of information. So anyone that have any interest, they can process it. They can be clear. And again, I'm always telling everyone, when you're looking to do any of these things in Africa, whether it's uh, tours and investment, which you specialize in, uh, you want to do your you know, your flow of this research and information by reading what's on this side and just reading this general information that we have out there and just kind of just get a feel of it. That way you can just kind of connect whichever way that works better for you. And for, the, for those who just need help to just move and connect and do certain things and they're not looking to do a tour with us or looking to do certain things, then I have on here, let me see where I put this uh, link. Africa Repatriation and Consultation and uh, Relocation Support or Africa Repatriation and Consultation and Relocation Support. So I have a nice setup in Ghana to work that out. And the goal is to build the expertise in Liberia and work with our partners there to help people to do those things also. That way we just have at least some multiple countries that we can push this energy of Africa tours, investment, repatriation and uh, things like that. So family, let me uh, stop with the screen sharing and um, there's probably certain things I didn't go through. So for those who have questions, definitely want to just um, answer your questions immediately. And anyone want me to talk about anything else uh, directly outside of the overview of what I talk about, I can go into details on it uh, also. So family, um, the line is open uh, for questions and answer for our Africa tour conference call for this uh, July 16th. So all you have to do is just unmute yourself, uh, give your name, where you're calling from, uh, what tour you're traveling on, and your question. Uh, so first person, you can just unmute yourself and uh, introduce yourself. All right there, greeting sister Kuvi. Hopefully you can unmute yourself and say hello to everyone. Then you know, we have few different uh, people representing different journeys. We'd love to just have more people on, but uh, this is a good time for us to talk and we share the recording. So family looking for someone to unmute uh, themselves. Everyone is muted at this very moment. And while I'm waiting for someone to unmute themselves, let me just look to see what else I may have to share. Only thing I didn't share was our Instagram page, which is a lot of different energy. The family, hopefully everyone is not shy tonight and someone can meet themselves and dialogue with us in reference to the journey you're traveling on and just talking and sharing anything that you need to share on if you if you have questions about certain things on itinerary, if you just want to know more information about a certain site or certain thing that we're doing. Peace and love, family. I am still at work, but I'm going to be the first to unmute myself. This is Imani in Miami, and I'm going to South Africa. Yay, yay. 
Well, excellent, Imani. I appreciate you uh, getting ready and things. And I'll be reaching out to everyone for uh, South Africa so we can uh, finalize on certain things and appreciate everyone for sending those uh, emails in with their information so we can get their tickets organized. So, so Imani, uh, tell me uh, what you want to share, what you're looking forward to mostly on the uh, South Africa journey. Well, <clears throat> currently just, I'm looking forward for uh, just touching, you know, on the ground of South Africa. Just, I'm looking forward to that. Um, there's so many more things I can say, but like I said, I am at work. I would talk more, but I'm <laughs> trying to transition out of here. So um, if somebody else doesn't mind going, by the time everybody has something to say, I should be able to come back and speak a little more. All right, uh, well, excellent. We'll appreciate you just uh, connecting with us. And you're gonna love the cable cars up in uh, Cape Town. So for those who love heights and love this, uh, you know, doing things like that adventurous, uh, you know, looking forward to that one. And I could probably show a bunch of videos. It's just so many to show. That's why I just try to just give everyone the link and information. But, uh, and it's just more than just one or two highlights. Okay? Everything is a highlight on our journey. Uh, uh, yeah. Having dinner is a highlight. Uh, greetings, uh, China. So hi, Bomani. It's so nice to see your beautiful face again. Well, thank and you. <laughs> I too am going to South Africa, and this will certainly be a trip of a lifetime for me. I've been to Africa several times, but this time I have the pleasure of going with my family and close family friends. So that's what I'm looking forward to. That's what's so exciting to me that we get to see, we get an opportunity once again to allow our ancestors to see their homeland through our eyes and what a privilege that is. So I'm certainly really super excited. And then to be in the land of Shaka Zulu has a special place in my heart as well. So yes, yes, yes. I'm super duper excited. I'm always um, happy to see you. And I can say that you're a really good communicator. Okay. Well, thank you. I try my best. <laughs> and my aunt, my aunt Sheila, Mama Sheila doesn't give up any props that are undeserved. And I, I swear to in anywhere in the world with you because she's traveled with you several times. So I have all the confidence in the world that we'll have a fantastic time in South Africa. Yes, absolutely. And that's our goal is to make it the best journey and just enjoy ourselves. So I uh, appreciate everyone joining and committing. Uh, I didn't know if we were going to go to South Africa, but uh, the last two months, uh, we've had you know, enough people to commit. So just want to thank everybody for making that work out. So I'm just working on all of the hardcore stuff to just get everything in place. Hey, so, Bobby, yes. Shelly, can you hear me? Uh, yes, uh, greetings, Shelly. Oh, yes. Hi. Um, yeah, so I will be joining you um, all on the Egypt Egypt tour uh, 2024. So excited for that. Um, uh, I have a younger cousin who will be coming along on the trip uh, who I haven't seen in um, many years. So it'll be wonderful to see him. He's uh, blossoming into a young man. So it'll be a great trip for both of us. And I'm just excited to see everything from the pyramids to the, <laughs> the uh, boat ride up the Nile all everything the hotels food all the above i'm just so excited <laughs> yes absolutely uh, it's uh, one of those incredible journeys this year you're touring somewhere historic and then it's also very modern and then you know you're sailing on the Nile river for a few days so you're just trying to make everything as exciting and just you know what we dream about doing based on the experience of just you know being in all these different countries before and so we just work into this, keep, you know, keep it, you know, keep it flowing stronger and stronger. So that's why I try to show people, you know, where we came from as far as this, us just going to Ghana alone and things like that. So, uh, yes, it's about time that we just made that move because uh, we need to show Egypt in a different flavor and a different style um, outside of what, you know, some of the other people have done. But that's, you know, what we do with this, you know, connect you to Africa and just make it as special as possible and make it even just more exceptional than anything else. So yes, Shelly, appreciate you and looking forward to connecting with you and 
others and you know appreciate my good brother Rakin for linking me uh, with you. Yes, me too. <laughs> All right, so family, the line is open. Um, I see my good brother Clyde there. Uh, you're driving, look like you're focusing, so let me not distract you. But you can always unmute yourself and we can talk. And just wanted uh, to get some questions uh, as far as, you know, maybe what anyone have looked on the itinerary and maybe something wasn't clear or just something that you wanted to talk talk about, you know, based on the different countries where people are traveling. Uh, greetings, um, greetings, brother. Still going to hear? Uh, Clyde, I can hear you. Oh, oh. Okay. okay. Hey, peace. How you doing, family? I, I'm sorry. We're... we're actually on vacation we're, we're driving around trying to find our way back to the hotel in uh, south carolina so I, i'm listening but uh but i i'm trying to pay attention to the uh, gps all right but all right. but we're here we're here all right excellent uh appreciate you also uh both of you j uh joining us uh to this give us the numbers for our south africa journey so we'll definitely be yeah. uh, contacting you in a half uh, also. mile turn right onto north yes. market street as yes, I need yeah. to talk with everyone uh, that's traveling in South Africa about our tickets. Same thing with Tanzania. Just as you know, okay. uh, one of those things where the next uh, set of journeys that are coming up. That's one of the main things that we always have to talk about, as we just right. make sure that every all of our flight accommodations is you know for based on what everyone needs and things like that. So right. I'll be doing some reach reach uh, reach out and then definitely be working on some private uh, group calls for Tanzania and South Africa. Uh, separate the that quarter way. mile turn right at the fourth road uh, onto the north meet you. Uh, that way uh, we can just um all organize ourselves much earlier and just talk about anything that we need to talk about directly and then at that point hopefully more people uh that are traveling with us in that specific journey will show up so we can just work on those things and that's uh, always the best recipe to make things a lot smoother as we uh get ready and then while we're during the journey because every day is just another day and the better you can plan for it, the smoother it goes. Because when you look at everything, it's, just, it's a schedule where you just, all those things have to be in place. So that's why I appreciate everyone who just commit with us uh, early and everyone who's just with us. And stay tuned and reviewing information and everything. And I do understand some people are just going to wing it and show up and not show what's going on. But in that case, if you decide to do that, only thing I will say is just go with the flow and enjoy it. Um, and it's uh, no big deal, but uh, don't hold us to anything if you didn't look at anything, uh, because what you're going to get is what we talk about, and anything beyond that is things that we can always arrange for you special, uh, so if someone needs any special accommodations or maybe an adjustment to where you can stay in a country longer for a week or two weeks, and you know, it's one of those things that we have to talk about, so I can just change a ticket, uh, just to give an example of somebody to say that uh, versus the basic standard room that they have at a specific hotel. They like to have an upgrade to an executive suite or something like that. Uh, those things can always be worked out and, and things like that. So just wanted to let everyone know if you have any expectations, if you have anything that you specific need beyond just the floor of what we have. I'm open to dialoguing and understanding that it's much easier to do it now. And uh, like example, if you get to the country and you want a single room, I may not be able to work anything out for you. Best thing I may have to tell you is I, you can go to reception and then they'll give you a price on the room uh, and you just have to pay for it yourself because we don't have anyone to mix, match, and move around <clears throat> at the point at the last minute. Uh, so those are some of the things that I just talk about in general. So whether it's now or with me on the tour, just communicate directly. And for those who just rather send a, a text message on WhatsApp, that's literally fine. Uh, I try to work out all flow of communications because sometimes text message, emails, and things work, and sometimes phone calls and meeting up and video calls may work better. So let's get myself prepared for these back-to-back -back, back, uh, journeys and just trying to recover from the last two journeys that takes a toll out of you know, your body, your mind, everything, because you have so many people that you're, you have to accommodate and you just you're, you have the people that they're in the country that you have made deals with 
to make sure that they accommodate people. And regardless of whatever happened, you have to deal with the, the situation because it's uh, your program. So you're just working many things out to just get things as perfect as best as possible. So, uh, but the only thing that I would add in this entire equation is just let everyone know, family, it's, you know, it's Africa, not saying like it's another planet or something like that, but it's Africa and depends on what country you go to, <laughs> things are things are a trip. <laughs> it's a trip and sometimes you just have to smile about certain things, but that's why we just try to just work things out with the tour guides and people to just make sure that we're on the same page with what we expect and things like that and to get the guides to speak up and to share information with us about the, the country and just be open to answering questions and also just encourage people to ask questions so we can get into different uh, dialogues. So, uh, you know, those are some of the things and, you know, as time go along, we do more conference call, we just talk about different things and, you know, everything is in the essence of just getting you prepared, ready and so you can just enjoy the journey for a lifetime. So family, the line is open, open to any questions anybody one may have or open to anything uh, anyone may want to talk about. Bomani. No, greetings out, China. Yeah. So I just wanted to ask you, I know that we're bringing certain supplies to donate to the children. But um, in my trips to Africa, I've noticed that people are really enthusiastic about receiving used electronics. And so most of us have some around the house, such as uh, tablets or old phones that we don't use anymore. Do you think it's a good idea to bring those things as well? Uh, yes, absolutely. Those are definitely things that uh, individuals can uh, definitely use uh, at the school, especially when they're learning how to just use different electronics. Uh, so a secondhand one will work. And uh, some of the things that we have uh, that we consider old, uh, very useful. So yeah, right. so that would be definitely appreciated for anyone who could do those things. And we'll put them to uh, you know, good use and get, you know, get everyone connected to you know, connected to you know the people who really need these things and can use them, which are usually just orphanage and just uh, schools. Okay, so one more question, Momani is is there any opportunity to set up maybe sponsoring a certain child after you meet them in Africa? Uh yes. Uh, once you get there, and that's what you want to do. You just uh, the people there will just give you direct information. And so you'd be good on that. Thank you. So yeah, those are always things that could be done. And uh, just anything from the kindness of you know anyone's heart uh, is always appreciated. Uh, so it's just one of those things. And anybody that like to take any of those programs further, uh, is, you know, it's always open. You know, because sometimes people see us, we go to a school, we're there for an hour and we leave and People want to know how can they keep in touch. You know, those things are all good. It's, uh, I'm always you know, impressed with the, 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 the amount of people who just do so much things from the kindness of their heart. Because now I understand people have their own children and family. And to, you know, to step out and do those things is just beautiful. So I'm telling everyone we appreciate it in Africa uh, and the, the tour guides and the people that we do deal with, they, they appreciate it. And, you know, they wish they could just, you know, do something uh, for us. Uh, but... They usually just try to just give us a warm welcome, entertainment, and just try to just you know connect with us. So good stuff, and you know, and it's one of those things where you know we're there in the country and we just enjoy in paradise, and so it's one of the public relations and one of the kind things that we can do from our heart. All right, and I got a uh, few people here in the, here that um, we haven't heard from, but family, if you just want to unmute yourself, say hello, say what journey you're going on, um, just share any kind of excitement as far as this, what you're looking forward to, you know, just let us hear you, let us even see you, you know, and things like that. Hello, hey, Bomani, how you doing, brother? Uh, greetings, uh, Joel, I'm doing all right, brother, how about yourself? All right, I just wanted to call in and just to tell you you know hi and everyone here that's hi i'm going on going to tanzania i don't really have any questions at this time but i just wanted to uh, say hi to everyone and uh, we're, we're all going to have a ball on these trips thank you uh yes uh family the journey continues and let's get more excited 
All right, so let me look at the time. So definitely uh, have a little more time where we can go through some more information. Let me see what else I have. So the last thing I was sharing was our Instagram page. So it's a little bit of everything, a little bit of party, nightlife, beach, a little bit of just business, socializing. But this uh, this is just our world that we're sharing, uh, just the shared energy of all the colors and just let, you know, let everyone know that you know you can just be in Africa and you can just enjoy just all aspects of life. Uh, some of our Tanzanian, some of these things are mixed uh, in uh, some of our Ghana journeys. And you see there's different uh, color shirts, uh, nice, uh, beautiful nightlife photos. We just try to get dressed up as best as possible and just go out and just, you know, enjoy an experience uh, together as a group. And all of the uh, historical places, you know, that's just us there, this, you know, it's one of those things when you go into all these different uh, incredible countries, you know, you wanna really just enjoy an incredible itinerary and you just wanna get on a bus in the morning and just enjoy the day. And that's what we specialize in. If you don't wanna get on a bus, and you feel tired and you want to rest and you want to skip a day, that is entirely up to you. No problem from us. Uh, we just want to make sure that we have our bus ready. Because um, once we leave out between 8.30 to 9 o'clock, uh, uh, we usually back around 4 or 5, so it's a full day. And uh, it's it's not necessarily a vacation where you just kick back on the beach resort. You can do that like you in Tanzania. You're there for three days. You can just chill there at the beach resort for the all those three days, uh, you have one tour day out, but uh, we just kind of mix it in as best as possible. And um, you're limited by the, the flow of certain countries, like Tanzania, they, just, they have Zanzibar Island, so that makes it perfect. South Africa, you know, you have Cape Town. You know, Egypt, you have the Nile, you know, now where we just get on the boat and sail and enjoy. And then, you know, Ghana, you know, we have a beautiful neighborhood in Isagon where we just enjoy a beautiful neighborhood. Uh, so from group pictures to just us. And one of the things you're going to always see is just the bright colors of red, black, green, and gold just everywhere. So as in the uh, other um, documentation, it's just a whole lot of information. So you can just scroll down and check it out. And as time goes along, my goal is just to put more information up and share with uh, this, the world of our generations and just get more of us into connecting to Africa. All right, yes, so family, the line is open. Um, and uh, what I've done is went over a lot of different things in details. I didn't go over any specific full itinerary, uh, which is what I'm gonna just be working on saving certain private conference calls for we just go into the itinerary just day by day. And then as far as just the private conference call for a specific group, and then here, mainly the main thing just to, to go over the overview and certain things. So that is uh, all I have for everyone uh, tonight. And just uh, before I close, just one off, anyone else would like to dialogue or talk about anything before we close? And then for those who just need to talk to me private, just send me a message or call me or reach out to me. And uh, we can uh, talk, uh, understand that everything, everyone is gonna wanna talk or have a dialogue about on a um, public uh, conference call. So family, once again, this is Bomani Tamba, Africa for the Africans Tours and Investment. And uh, this is uh, Africa Tours Conference Call for July. 16th and uh, we'll work on another conference call for uh, next month and then work in some of those private calls that I talk about and uh, we'll just keep everyone connected so family and beyond that I will be on standby I have everybody information on my phone email and this in whatsapp so uh, those who are traveling with me um, you, you know you're my priority to communicate with so uh, you won't it won't take long to just get a response from me if you're on our active travel business schedule um, but in even in beyond that, you know, the goal is to just communicate with everyone in general uh, that reaches out to us. So family, enjoy uh, this beautiful Sunday and uh, we'll keep in touch. 
and the journey continues. Uh, so everybody, uh, good night. All right, good night, family. Greetings. Good night.